Have you always wanted to be one of the first to try out the latest features on Chromebooks? In this video, I'll show you how to get into the developer mode of your Chromebook, the so-called Canary Channel. In the Canary Channel, you can test the latest features for Chromebooks, but be aware that by switching to this experimental mode, your Chromebook will become unstable and may crash. More importantly, Enabling developer mode will delete all local data, so think carefully about whether you want to take this step and be sure to back up your local data before enabling developer mode. To switch to developer mode, you must first change the channel your Chromebook is on. To do this, go to Settings, scroll down to the bottom of the left-hand side, and click on About Chrome EOS, and then click on the Additional Details field. At the top, you will see the channel field along with information that you are currently on the stable channel. We now click on change channel and see that in addition to the stable channel, there is also a beta channel and a developer channel. The choice of channel determines how quickly your Chromebook will switch to new Chrome OS versions. The stable channel is the best tested and officially released stable channel. The beta channel is usually the next Chrome OS version, which may still contain bugs, and the developer channel is the Chrome OS version that is still in development and can therefore still be very unstable. To get into developer mode, we now switch to the developer channel, but switching to the developer channel does not yet mean that you are in developer mode, because developer mode is the aforementioned canary channel, which you can only access through a backdoor. This is because it is so experimental and unstable that the developers of Chrome OS have decided to hide it behind further settings and thus only make it accessible to advanced users so that no one can easily jeopardize the security and flawless condition of their Chromebook. Before changing the channel, please note that a power wash is necessary when changing back to the stable channel, during which all local data is also deleted. So, even when changing channels, please only do so if you are aware of the consequences and have backed up your data. After you switch to the developer channel, your Chromebook will usually update to the version after next, which will have brand new features. In this case, after a restart, we jump from Chrome OS 127 directly to Chrome OS 129, and we can see from the parenthesis logo in the bottom right corner that we are in the developer channel. To switch to developer mode, you first need to make sure that your Chromebook has enough battery charge and, if necessary, connect it to the power adapter. Now open the recovery mode by pressing the following three keys simultaneously, Escape, Refresh, and the Power key. This works both when the Chromebook is turned on and when it is off. Now press Ctrl plus D and you will be asked if you want to activate developer mode. Confirm this by pressing Enter. The Chromebook is now being prepared for developer mode by disabling the verified boot, for example, an important security feature of Chrome OS. Now you have to log in to your Chromebook as usual, as if you were starting it up for the first time. Now there is one more crucial step to get into the Canary channel, that is, the developer mode of your Chromebook. Open the Crosh terminal, where you can change important system settings by pressing Ctrl plus Alt and T. Now enter the following command. Live underscore in underscore underscore coal underscore mine. Separated by underscores. Confirm this with enter and you will be asked if you really want to switch to the canary channel. Confirm this with yes. Close the crosh terminal and go back to the settings in the about Chrome OS section. Here you can see that your Chromebook is updating to the canary channel. Once the update is complete, you have to restart the Chromebook, and you will now see an orange canary in the bottom right corner, which confirms that you are now in the correct developer mode. We can also see here that the developers are already working on Chrome OS version 130, so you can test all the new features that are to be released in versions 128, 129, and 130 here. It could therefore be exciting to also play around with the Chrome OS flags as you are sure to find some new features here that you can activate that do not yet exist in the current stable version 129. 
But be aware that in developer mode, central security mechanisms of your Chromebook are disabled and you are not only more vulnerable to cyber attacks, but in case of doubt you can even damage the hardware of your Chromebook, which Google explicitly warns against. If you want to switch back to the stable channel, you have to click on Change Channel again in the settings and select the stable channel here. Then the Chromebook will be updated and a power wash will be performed, during which all local data will be deleted again. After the update, click on Restart, and you will see here too that you are still in developer mode. Select Back to Safe Mode to disable developer mode again and confirm this. Now a final power wash will follow and you can set up your Chromebook again in stable mode. If you want to know how to install Linux on your Chromebook and use numerous Linux programs and games on your Chromebook, then check out my detailed Linux tutorial on the left. If you want to get to know 10 ingenious websites that every Chromebook user should know, then click on the video on the right. And I'll say, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.